we're asked to find the general term a sub n for the geometric sequence where a sub 5 equals 2 and a sub 8 equals 2 divided by 27. Looking at the formulas below, notice to find the formula for a sub n, we need a sub 1 the first term as well as the common ratio r. In this case, we don't have either, and we also can't use this formula for r because we don't have two consecutive terms in the sequence. So we are given that a sub 5 is equal to 2 and a sub 8 is equal to 2 27 And the formula for a sub n is a sub n equals a sub 1 times r raised to the power of n minus 1. In this video, we'll show the method of pretending that a sub 5 is a sub 1, which will allow us to determine the common ratio r. So if we pretend that a sub 5 is a sub 1, since 5 minus 4 is equal to 1, we can also pretend that a sub 8 is equal to a sub 8 minus 4, which would be a sub 4. So temporarily, we will let a sub 1 equal 2 and a sub 4 equal 2 27 which will allow us to find the common ratio r, and then we'll come back and find the real a sub 1. So if we substitute 2 27 for a sub n, this means n is equal to 4 in the equation, which gives us 2 27 equals a sub 1, which is 2, times r, the unknown, raised to the power of n minus 1, which is 4 minus 1, which gives an exponent of 3. Now to solve for r, we would normally divide by 2, but we have a fraction on the left side, so let's multiply by 1 half instead. One half times two is equal to one. The right side simplifies to r cubed. On the left side, notice we have a common factor of two between the numerator and denominator. There's one, two, and two here and here. The left side simplifies to one twenty-seventh. And now to solve for r, we need to undo the cubing by taking the cube root of both sides or raising both sides to the one-third power. Let's take the cube root of both sides The cube root of r cubed is r, and the cube root of 1 27th is 1 third, because 1 is equal to 1 cubed, and 27 is equal to 3 cubed. If we needed to, we could check this on the calculator. If we press math, and then number 4, this brings up the cube root, and then 1 divided by 27, enter, and then math, enter, enter, to convert back to a fraction. Now that we know r is equal to 1 third, we will substitute one-third for r in our equation for a sub n. Again, we now know that a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times one-third raised to the power of n minus 1. And let's go ahead and find a sub 1 using a sub 5 equals 2. So we'll substitute 2 for a sub n and 5 for n. Forming the substitution gives us the equation 2 equals a sub 1 times 1 third raised to the power of 5 minus 1, which gives us 1 third to the fourth, which gives us 2 equals a sub 1 times 1 third raised to the fourth power is equal to 1 divided by 81 or 181st. And now to solve for a sub 1, we multiply both sides by 81. Notice on the right side, the 81's simplify to 1, giving us just a sub 1 times 1, which is a sub 1. On the left side, we have 81 times 2, which is equal to 162. Now that we've found r and a sub 1, we know the formula for a sub n. a sub n is equal to a sub 1, which is 162, times r raised to the power of n minus 1, which is 1 third raised to the power of n minus 1. Before we go, Let's just verify this formula does give us a sub 5 and a sub 8 correctly. When n is 5, a sub 5 is equal to 162 times 1 third raised to the power of 5 minus 1, which gives us an exponent of 4, enter, which does give us 2. Let's also check a sub 8. We can just press second, enter, and just change the exponent of 4 to 8 minus 1, which is 7. Converting to a fraction, we press math, enter, enter, 
which does verify our formula for a sub n does work. I hope you found this helpful.